speaker has a degree of Master of Arts in Mathematics Education at Rizal Technological University. She earned units in Master of Arts in Math program at Ateneo de Naga. She is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Education, major in Mathematics at Bicol University. She worked at St. Joseph School, Naga, Kamsor National High School, Naga City Science High School, Tinago High School, Dep Ed Naga, Don Bosco Technological College, Kamsor Polytechnic College, and currently, she is a senior high school teacher 3 at Highway Hills Integrated School. Let us all welcome Mrs. Florence B. Dadua. Hello everyone! We are now at quarter 2 week 1 of the Clyde module. I'll be discussing with you today the following competencies. 1. Illustrating simple and compound interest. And 2. Computing simple interest and maturity value of simple interest. By the way, I am Florence Bidadua of Highway Hills Integrated School, your lecturer, and our module writer is Mr. Ryan J.C. Verbo of MPNAG. To begin, let us present the objectives of this lesson. 1. Illustrate simple and compound interest. And 2. Distinguish simple and compound interest. Let us now proceed to the lesson proper. There are terms that we have to define for an easy understanding of this topic. And these terms are the following. Debtor, term, simple interest, lender, future value, rate, maturity date, principal, compound interest, origin, and interest. We will be defining each of these terms. Lender or creditor, a person or institution who invests the money. Borrower or debtor, it's a person or institution who owes the money or avails of the funds from the lender. Origin or loan date, this is the date on which money is received by the borrower. Repayment date or maturity date, this is the date on which the money borrowed or loan is to be completely repaid. Time or term denoted by T. This is the amount of time in years the money borrowed or invested. Also, this refers to the length of time between the origin and maturity dates. Principal denoted by P. This is the amount of money borrowed or invested on the origin date. Rate, denoted by R, annual rate, usually in percent, charged by the lender, or rate of increase of the investment. Interest, denoted by I, amount paid or earned for the use of money. Simple interest, denoted by IS, interest that is compounded on the principal and then added to it. Compound interest, denoted by IC. Interest is compounded on the principal and also on the accumulated past interest. Maturity value or future value denoted by F. This is the amount after T years that the lender receives from the borrower on the maturity date. Now, we will be illustrating simple and compound interest. Consider this scenario. Suppose you have 5,000 peso savings from your daily baon and you plan to invest it for 3 years. The Livelihood Cooperative from your barangay offers 3% simple interest rate per year while a bank offers 3% compounded annually. Which will you choose and why? So the problem in here is to decide on where to save the money. Shall it be in the Livelihood Cooperative or in a bank? It's also important that we identify the given in this problem. The 5,000 pesos is called as the principal. Three years is referred to as time, and this 3% is our rate. Also, we have this 3% that is the rate for the compound interest, 
and then the number of compounding period which is annually in here we have to present two computations the first one is for the simple interest and then the second is for the compound interest investment one this is for the livelihood cooperative investing 5,000 pesos at first year will earn 150 pesos interest and then after two years that will be 300 after three years that will be 450 if you notice in here the interest is computed based from the principal or the original amount now for investment two this is for the bank observe in here that our principal it earns 150 interest at first year and then for the second year the principal and its interest will be our basis to compute for the interest for the second year now adding that to that will be our principal for the third year and then again it will earn an interest so you will notice that in the computation for compound interest, we are basing it from the principal plus the accumulated interest. Now that I have illustrated with you the principle behind simple and compound interest, which do you think is the better option? Recall from the table that in three years, investing the money to a cooperative offering a simple interest rate of 3% will have a maturity value of 5,450 pesos. Whereas, investing it to a bank offering compound interest rate of 3% compounded annually will have a maturity value of 5,463 pesos and 63 centavos. Hence, money will grow more when compounded. Compound interest is greater than simple interest. The reason is simple. Under simple interest system, the interest is computed only on principal amount, whereas under compound interest system, the interest is computed on principal as well as on accumulated interest. So this is taken from the accountingformanagement.org. So let's present now the formula for simple interest. Annual simple interest, IS is equal to PRT. Where IS in here is the simple interest, P is the principal or the amount invested or borrowed, R stands for the simple interest rate, and T is the term or time in years. Note, that when the term is expressed in months, it should be converted in years by this formula. T is equal to M over 12. Again, the simple interest formula is I is equal to P times R times T. Now, if you notice, I have this triangle below. This will guide us in deriving formula when other terms are missing. How do we make use of this triangle? Imagine to cover the missing term in this triangle. When you go below, that means division. When you go straight, it means multiplication. Let us try. Let us say you're finding for interest. So we will imagine covering this I. So I is equal to the remaining terms are this below the P, the R, and T. So it means interest is equal to principal times rate times time. Let us say it's the principal which is missing. So try to cover this P. So it means we have in here I on top, interest over, since we're going below, I over rate times time. So the formula in finding the principal is I over rate times time. Let's say it's the R which is missing or the rate which is missing. So in finding for the rate, that will be the interest over the principal times the time. Okay, now for the T. 
Let us say it's the time which is missing. So that is I, it's the interest over the principal times the R. So I hope you already know how we derive formula from this triangle. Let us now present the illustrative examples. A. Directions. Complete the table below by finding the unknown. Okay. In letter A, the missing term is the principal. So our formula will be for the principal that is I over ray times time. As indicated from the table, our interest in A is 2,700. And then for our rate, that is 1.50%. Since this is written in percentage, there is a need to rewrite that into decimal. And to do that, you just have to move this decimal point two places to the left. So that will be 0 0.015. So 0 0.015 times the time, which is 5 years. You write in here 5. Now... Use your calculator to solve it. We will be having 2,700 over 0 0.015 times 5. So the answer is 36,000. This is the principal. Let's move now to letter B. In letter B, the missing quantity is the rate. To solve for the rate, our formula will be I over P times T. So as given, the interest in letter B is 2,120. And then for our principal, we have in here 12,000. And then for the years, we have 1.7. Okay, so using the calculator, we have in here 2,120 over 12,000 times 1.7. So the answer is 0 0.1039. Since this is in decimal, there is a need to transform it into percentage. We can only do that by moving this decimal point two places to the right. So that will be 10.39 and do not forget the percentage sign. Okay, let us now proceed to letter C. In letter C, the missing item or quantity is the time. So to get the time, our formula will be I over P times R. So as given, our interest is 350 over the principal, which is 150,000, and then our rate is 0.75%, we write into decimal that will be 0 0.0075. 0 0.0075 is our rate. Okay, so, so we will be having 350 over 150,000 times 0 0.0075. So the answer, that is 0 0.31. So that is 0 0.31 years. Okay, let's move to letter D. In letter D, the missing item is the interest. So the formula for interest is I is equal to P times R times T. As given, our principal is 300,000. Our rate is 3% in decimal, that is 0 0.03. And then for our time, we have in here 6 years. So that will be 300,000 times 0 0.03 times 6. So the answer is 54,000. I hope everything is clear with you in here. Let us now proceed to the word problems. Directions. Complete the table below by finding the unknown. Number one. Achilles invested a certain amount of 10% simple interest per year. 
after two years, the interest he received amounted to 3000 How much did he invest? So this is our question. So it's calling for us to solve for the principal. So that will be in here. For our given, we have rate, which is 10%. We have time, which is two years. And then we have here the interest, which is 3000 So the missing is the principal. It's the unknown. So for us to solve for the principal, our formula will be I over rate times time. So we just plug into the formula the given. Our interest is 3000 over the rate which is 10 percent again this one there is a need to write into decimal so move two decimal places to the left so that is 0 0.1 so we will be having 0 0.1 for the rate and then our time is two two years so solve it we will be having 3000 over 0 0.1 times two so it means to say that the principal is 15,000. So it's 15,000. Okay, let's move to number two. How long will an amount of 50,000 gain a simple interest of 10,000 at 4% per annum? Okay, so the question is the time. Okay, so let's identify the given. We have in here, okay, 50,000, that's our principal. Okay, we have also an interest, simple interest of 10,000. And then we have in here 4%, so that is our rate, 4% per annum. Again, What's me, what is required is the time. Okay, so our formula when the time is unknown, it's T is equal to I over P times R. So the interest that is 10,000 over the principal, which is 50,000, and that our rate that is 4% or that is 0 0.04. Okay, 0 0.04. Let us solve it. So that is 10,000. Okay, you just have to use your calculator. 10,000 over 50,000 times 0 0.04. So the answer is 5. So it means to say, okay, 5 years. That is 5 years. So it will take five years to have that amount. Okay, let us now proceed to number three. At what simple interest rate per annum will 20,000 accumulate 25,000 in three years? So we are asked to find in here the rate. Let us identify the given. We have in the problem the interest, which is 20,000. Also, we have in here the principal, which is 25,000 and three years for our time. Again, the unknown quantity is the rate. So to solve for the rate, our formula will be I over P times T. So the interest is 20,000 over 25,000 that's the principal times the time, which is three years. So using the calculator, that will be 20,000 over 25,000 times three. We have in here 0 0.2667, 2667. Since this is in decimal, we have to transform that into percentage. So we will be moving two decimal places to the right. So that is 26.67%. Okay, let's move to number four. 
find the simple interest on a loan of 65,000 pesos if the loan is given at a rate of 20% and is due in 3 years. So, we are asked in here to find the simple interest. And then, we have in here in the given, the principal, which is 65,000. And then, a rate of 20% time, which is due in 3 years. The annual quantity is the interest. So, for the simple interest, our formula is I is equal to P times R times T. So, we will be having 65,000 times 20% that is in decimal 0 0.2 times the time which is 3 years. So, we will be having 65,000 times 0 0.2 times 3. So, the answer is 39,000. Okay, so that's our interest. We are now down to the last topic of this lesson. Maturity or future value of simple interest. Maturity value or future value is the amount to be received on the due date or on the maturity of instrument or security that investor is holding over its period of time and it is calculated by multiplying the principal amount to the compounding interest which is further calculated by 1 plus rate of interest to the power which is time period. So we have in here the formula in finding for the future value. That is FV is equal to P plus IS. Wherein FV is equal to the maturity value, P is the principal, IS is the simple interest. Or you could adopt the second formula, FV is equal to P times the quantity 1 plus RT. Note in here that when the term is expressed in months, it should be converted in years by following the formula T is equal to M over 12. Let us present the illustrative examples. Number one, find the interest amount and the maturity or future value given principal as 200, time as 3 years, and rate as 3%. So, based from the given, there is a need in here to compute first for the simple interest for us to get the maturity value. So, for the simple interest, that is 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 equal to PRT. So, that is 200 times 3% times 3. So, computing it further, that is 200 times 0 0.03 times 3. So, our interest is 18. Now, since the interest is already known, we can now compute for the maturity value. So that is FB is equal to P plus IS. So again, our principal is 200. The computed interest is 18. So for our future value, you just have to add the 2. That is now 218. Or if you want to try it using the second formula, that would be FB is equal to P times the quantity 1 plus rate times time. So we have in here FB is equal to 200, open and close parenthesis, we have in here 1 plus the rate of 0 0.03 times the time of 3 years. So that is 218. So as you can see, whichever formula you follow, we arrive at the same answer. Let's present example number 2. How much money will you have after 4 years and 3 months if you deposited 10,000 pesos in a bank that pays 0.5% simple interest? For our given, the principal in here is 10,000. Our rate is 0.5%. In decimal, that will be 0.005. And then for our time, we have in here 4 years and 3 months. This 3 months, there is a need to con to convert that into years. So that is 3 over 12. Okay, that is 0.25. So for our time, we have 4.25 years. Now, let us find the FV or the future value. FB is equal to P 
times the quantity, 1 plus rate times time. So, plug in the given in here into the formula. P is 10,000. Open and close parenthesis. You have in here 1 plus the rate of 0 0.005 times the years. That is 4.25 the time. So, solving it further, we will be having for the future value as 10,212.25. It's all for today. Thank you for listening. Happy learning, everyone. Goodbye.